Hi, Miranda here from Dotty Media. I'm going to show you today how you can customize your MailChimp sign-up forms. Now, when we talk to business owners who are using MailChimp, um, and we strongly recommend using MailChimp when you're just getting started because you can have up to 2,000 subscribers for free. But when we talk to business owners, a lot of them are still using the generic MailChimp sign-up forms and welcome emails. So this little video is going to show you how to customize them for your business. So I've just logged into MailChimp and I'm going to go to lists. Now when you start with MailChimp, having a list is the first thing that they're going to prompt you to create. So I'm just going to select the list, in this case Instagram workshop landing page. And then I'm going to go to sign up forms, general forms. And as I scroll down, I've got my pretty generic mailing list for Dotty Media. So as you saw before, I've actually called this one Instagram workshop mailing list. So I want to change the heading to something that's going to tell people who are landing on this page what they're actually signing up for. So first of all, I'm going to change it to Instagram workshop interest list, center that. And what you can actually do is also change a lot of these other parts of the And what you can actually do is change a lot of the other parts of this mailing list. So I just have an untitled section here that I'm just going to delete first of all. So I've just got the first name and the last name. If I wanted to change the order of these, I could drag email address above first name or I can drag it below. I'm going to leave it there. If you really want to give people a good idea of what they're signing up for, so sign up here for to find out our upcoming Instagram workshop dates. What you're doing by providing them a bit more information is that they can then know what they're signing up for and they're going to be more comfortable in giving you their email address. Now it looks pretty boring, I don't know about you, but this makes me feel pretty, pretty sad, this grey and grey button. So I'm just going to go over to design it. And this is where you can actually start to customize it to make it look a little bit more like your business with your branding. So if I go to change this background color, I could change it to something like a dotty red or a pretty standard black. We're using a lot more black in our business now, so I'm going to change that to kind of a dark gray. That means I'll just need to update this font color to white. I'm going to change that font color to white. There we go. All right, but I do want to change this button color as well because I find that if I know I'm signing up to something that just looks like it's from MailChimp, it doesn't make me very happy. So I'm going to change this button color by going to body, or actually going to forms, and then this is the button color where I can change the background. So as this is a dotty thing, I'm going to change it to a nice dotty red. You can change it to any color you want. You can um, put the value in up here or choose your RGB values over there. So all of a sudden it's starting to look a little bit more interesting. But that's only the first part of the story. You actually need to go through and change not all of these, but the first five up until the final welcome email. That's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, up until the final six. So let's just have a go through each of these in turn and make sure that they're custom and we're happy with them. So sign up form with alerts. There's not much you can do about, you can change the alert color if you really felt the need to. Sign up thank you page. So first of all, you can create a different page, say another page on your website, and you can direct people to that. But this is the standard one that a lot of you will be working with within MailChimp. Now this is, again, a pretty standard experience for a lot of people, but 
as this is an Instagram workshop, I could say upcoming workshop. So thanks for your interest. Thanks for your interest. And say, actually using this space, instead of we need to confirm your email, above that you can say, we have upcoming workshop dates in the Gold Coast and Brisbane. Check your email for more info. So all of a sudden you're giving them a reason to actually open that email that you're, they're receiving. We need to confirm your email address to complete the subscription process. You might want to customize this as well to say we need to confirm your email address to make sure you're not a robot. To confirm, to complete, please click the email in the email you just sent you. Another option you can add in here is links to your Facebook account. So it's just another opportunity to connect with people and then they can find out more about you, particularly if they're coming in from something like a Facebook ad or maybe they've clicked on a link and then they can start to find out more a little bit about you. All right, so we're pretty happy with that one. Now I'm gonna go up to opt-in confirmation email. So this is where you wanna to start to make people feel really welcome. So we've all signed up to emails that say, please confirm subscription. And I have to say, I don't know about you, but it makes me feel very unwelcome. Now imagine if you've just spent money to get people on your mailing list or you really want to make a good impression so that they book into your workshop or your event. Chances are having please confirm subscription means they're not going to open that email. So let's update this to something like Instagram tips. You're almost there. Get back to those Instagram tips in a second. So it's going to come from Dotty Media. It's going to be replied to hello at Dotty Media. You can change that if need be. Now, please confirm subscription. What else can you say there that's going to actually make people feel happier? Yay! We're so happy to have you as part of our Dotty family. And all of a sudden, they're not gonna feel like they're part of this automated MailChimp chain. I'm just gonna change that so it all appears on one line. And yes, subscribing to this list, not much you can do about that, but it is your nice custom colors if you receive this email by mistake. You can also change that if you want to. And then what we want is the confirmation thank you page to be updated. So subscription confirmed. Ugh, so boring. You're now on our list. Instagram workshop list. The more custom you can make it, the better the people are gonna feel like you really actually give a shit about them and that you're going to be not spamming them but actually giving them quality information that they care about. So your subscription to our list has been confirmed. You're on your way to becoming an Instagram pro. Check your email for our latest workshop dates. Again, what you're doing with this is you don't need thanks for subscribing. They already feel welcome. Um, what you're doing with this is just creating those touch points for people to make them feel like they're wanted, that you really care about them, and that you're giving them something of value immediately. So they're going to check their email. And what is their email going to look like? So I'm going to go to final welcome email. So again, if you're using this... Um, if you're customizing these forms for a lead magnet, obviously you're going to be putting that final link in this one to download what it is that they're after. But you could also use one of those thank you pages to also put that link so they don't have to wait for those emails to come through to them. So I really hate your subscription to this list has been confirmed. 
I'm just going to change that to um, you're an Insta Ninja. Check out our we. Let's just change that a bit. Your we think you're an Insta Ninja. Check out our upcoming workshop dates on our website to increase your ninja skills. Obviously you're going to use your own voice, your own branding. The way that we talk to our customers is not the way that you're going to talk to yours, but um, I've worked with someone who ran a fitness business. So I was like, why don't you include in that welcome email your upcoming fitness dates? And I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. Um, because you're just using that opportunity to talk to them. They're, they're primed. They've already just signed up to your list. Why not use that opportunity to give them more information, to sell them on an event, to promote an ebook? Um, there's so much that you can do that a lot of people aren't doing. So I have to say, I'm just going to put that link in. If you do this, you're going to be looking a whole lot better to your customers and also you're going to be outsmarting the competition and as you can see it takes a couple of minutes and you're done awesome well i hope that oh wait final before i go we have to change this subscription confirmed email it's the most boring thing ever so open up workshop instagram workshop dates inside you could use a similar tagline if you were promoting your lead magnet so open up your free download is inside probably get rid of that exclamation mark just to make it a bit less spammy for people's email systems all right so as you can see it didn't take me very long um, to customize all of those emails so i hope that if I sign up to your mailing list in the near future, I am not greeted by generic MailChimp mails. All the best. Talk to you soon. Hey, I like the rock and the music and I like to dance and